I think going into season two of Shield Hero, season one had one of the best season one endings of any show, pretty much, because it felt so much of a resolution to that arc that we were in. We finally were able to make some friends, finally able to discover some of the info about the waves and about the other worlds and stuff like that. And it finally seems like we have a tangible goal that we're going after with a lot of support behind us. And it just feels so exciting going into this, knowing that it's somewhat good you know like we're not going into this like it's not like an attack on titan season where i'm going into it expecting half the characters to die i'm pretty excited going into this what's up dapper squad it's your boy darius back at it again with rising of the shield hero it sounds weird saying that uh season two episode one now before we get into anything there's a couple of things i want to let you guys know um season one for those who are asking was reacted to and was on the channel but it did use my old editing technique where a lot of them ended up getting taken down and copyright strucken so i was forced to take down the rest they will be re-uploaded with redirects i'll probably do like three or two a day as i'm uploading these or every day just so we can catch up by episodes two or three also with the first and last episode of every season of every show we put on the channel the full length which is normally available exclusively on patreon is available for everyone for free make sure to click that link in the top of the description enjoy that come back here for the review when you're done and if you did enjoy that consider checking out that patreon great benefits over there great fantastic community other than that super excited to hop into this we ended with dispelling the wave at calmira i believe it was called we finally made up with some of the other heroes we Morelia is the queen, um, uh, Mel Remark and Alt Clay, I mean, and mine are doing their own thing. We have Philo, Raftalia, everyone behind us. We have, it, it just feels so good going into this, knowing that we're just going to train, get stronger, just do what heroes do. So I'm here for it. I'm excited. I say we jump right into it, not waste any more time. Let's find out what happens. Rising of the Shield Hero, Season 2, Episode 1. This one's called A New Roar. Let's do this. Yep, yeah, we're rebuilding it and her people's name, Rifana. I really like the I really like the voice actor for Naofumi. <laughs> the old lady. Okay, we got some training going on. That's Keel, right? Trying to remember all the names. I should have all of them. Is that Rishia in? <laughs> okay. Okay. I was wondering who was in the penguin outfit, but we took her in at the end of season one. A good, not super threatening monster to get us back into that shield hero action kind of vibe. Ooh, yeah, reintroduce us to Philo, the squad, Raftalia, come on. Philo's so gangster. With the upgrades with, like, the Talon Claws, with the uh, Phytoria's Blessing, all that. We got Master Assassin, Sword Master, Raftalia, oh my god, beautifully executed. Yeah, those things look pretty damn scary. I love that feature of our shield. I love the amount of shields we have. Oh, familiar shield, bat type. Dimensional monster? Yeah? So where would it have come from if not... We're going deep into some... What was that? A new roar? Okay, a new roar. I see you out here. That seemed ominous as shit. Why did the countdown stop? What is this number? Yes, let's discuss what just happened, please. The spirit tortoise has revived the spirit tortoise kingdom. It's a fitting name. Oh, of course, we just happen to be in that century, of course. Oi. 
I know, are we not gonna deal with the spirit tortoise? Okay, is this not an important matter though? I mean, their technical job is only to deal with the wave, so I get it. And like, if it were anything like an earthquake or other things, I could understand them saying that. But this is pretty damn big, you know? Shut up, my no. Slut, you can't. <laughs> I love how we just have to call her that. We literally cannot call her mine. Sorry, my... Slut. Slut. She wants back. I wonder if that's why he kicked her out. Because she, I mean, now Fumi was saying for her level, her stats are extremely low, you know? That'd be the nice reason. But it's because you'd be, yeah, a hassle for them. I mean, it's the sad truth, but it definitely is true. And in terms of Battlefield, you only as really strong as her weakest link, you know? She's going through it, I get it. We've all had that stage where we feel too weak to handle with anything, you know? She'd be a great person for that. Good. Yeah, Melty was quite the good addition to the squad when we first met her, and I love her like purple, you know, color. It's a great color. Okay, that's a valid point. <laughs> the countdown stopping is very concerning as well, though. Like, ah! Oh, the goat himself, Erhard, absolute legend. I mean, the old lady was saying she's a master at manipulating her key. What can we do with that? Let's start getting you ready, girl. Now Fumi feels bad because he obviously wants to be a nice guy and not be mean, but she feels bad because what Itsuki just said, you know? Like, she is literally just weighing everyone down. What would that be, Raftalia? Oh, we're going to the slave trader? Technically, it's weird because you... I'm just pausing just so I don't miss anything. Technically, yeah, I mean, it makes sense as a forced way to get pers get um experience because it's slave, if I remember correctly, from season one. You are forced to listen and do that person's commands, but their XP, their XP and experience, I can't even speak right now, is shared for you. So it's like a, it's like an XP boost in Pokemon, you know, just shares with the entire party. That's, that's more like it. Like, it's kind of a big thing to make someone your slave. But Raftalia's only had a good experience being <laughs> now Fumi's slave, so I get where she's coming from, obviously. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, she's committed. She committed. <laughs> Raptalia convinced her. Okay, and now she's officially our slave. That sounds weird. But here we go. Contract slave acquired. Okay, new objective, train Rishia, get her stronger, and go to the Spirit Tortoise Kingdom and deal with a Calamity level threat. Alright, peace out, Keel. Take care of the village while we're gone. <laughs> okay, Rishia, come on. See? Normally when we get vibes like this, especially traveling to a new area, it's going to be not good vibes when we get there. So I'm going to enjoy the good vibes while I can. You know, fishing, making some stew, eating some good dinner with the squad. We got now Fumi with a side hustle, his gemstone making, accessory making business. <laughs> we got our mascot over here. This is hilarious. 
He's becoming a little more confident, though. I like this little actual HUD for the map that we're actually traversing on. I like that. Ooh. Tell me why that music initially sounded like Kingdom Hearts music. Like when a, when a boss fight or a battle comes out of nowhere. It really sounded like Kingdom Hearts. We got some beasts coming to fight us. No, not even us towards the checkpoint. This is the spirit toward us in work. Okay, nice. Good little defense while our sword goes crazy. While Philo goes crazy as well. <laughs> he is so quick. Aggro's all of them. Gets to hit some with a taunt. Then what's he gonna do? Tornado shield? Have we seen that before? No, he just uses like a little power up, a little combo. Okay, tornado shield. Oh, we're going for it off rip. Fucking dragon infused berserker armor. Okay, now Fumi. I remember him having the Wrath Shield in Season 1. I don't remember him being able to call it out readily and be able to do something that powerful while off command. I do know the curse damage is so inflicting to others. That's why Raftalia and all them had to book it. At least he didn't have to use like the Blood Sacrifice Iron Maiden. That was badass as shit, though. Holy smokes. I love the look of the, the wrath and like the scaled armor that's like on him. Hello, mysterious lady. Oh, my guy. Oh. Okay. That's an interesting spot to leave it off. All right. In terms of a setup episode for a new arc, new season, um, pretty good. I love how we left off exactly where we last season you know we're still rebuilding the village training now with old granny um we got rishia and keel trying to be the key masters and i i i kind of like rishia's side story about how she wants to earn the respect of itsuki but in doing so we'll do whatever at we'll do whatever it takes at the training of naofumi and so i think of anyone's gonna be able to turn her into a badass it's gonna be naofumi so he's the perfect trainer for that um but with this new spirit tortoise threat going on very interesting especially because so far with them saying they're busy the other heroes i mean and us being the only one able to do it it seems we're going to be doing this alone with the squad i don't know based off the opening how we're going to deal with this or what this is going to lead into i could totally see this though being like dr stone season two or this entire 13 episodes or 12 episodes, whatever was slated for season two, was centered around this arc, because it seems like it could be quite a little big arc, especially leading into maybe it ends with we figure out why the wave timer has stopped and we know kind of a little more info. I did see Lark, uh, Therese, and Glass in the um, opening, so I assume, I definitely saw Lark at least, so I assume they might make another appearance. I, I definitely enjoy their characters a good bit and the fights that we do have with them. So I'm excited for that. Um, overall, great episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out the Twitch for live reactions uncut. Don't forget to follow the other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all at Depp for Darius. Check out that Patreon, early access, full length. Much appreciated, you guys. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.